I'm Tim Joyce. I'm the retail director, and I run the Old Town School Music Store at the Old Town School of Folk Music in Chicago. So another uh, category of instrument that we have in the store is banjos. We do a lot of that uh, teaching of banjo here at the Old Town School, and it's a big part of, of, of folk music in general. And there's a big distinction between banjos. There's the open back banjo and the resonator banjo. And those, like the guitar, those are sort of the, the two classes that we divide things up into. With the guitar, it's like dreadnought or orchestra model, or you know, large body, small body. And the difference here is open back or resonator. The Bart Ryder here is an open back banjo. When he flips it, you'll see an open back. The resonator has a resonator on the back, much like the resonator gu guitars. That's to help project the sound forward. It's the same, you know, it's like they wanted to get a little bit a little more boost of sound, um, you know, to be, to be playing to keep up with the, the super loud dreadnought guitars and the bass and the, the fiddle and the mandolin, you know, to keep up with that. Just it, It's just a really crisp, crisp sound. You'll hear the difference when we play some of these here. This is an Enoch open back banjo, and if you look really closely at the rim here, you can see that the skin just goes right over the top of the wood. And you can actually look in the back see the same thing. It's just the wood touching the skin. And then as that wasn't, you know, that wasn't loud enough, so they sort of moved on. And then they started putting things called tone rings in banjos. And originally it was just a ring, a brass ring or some kind of metal ring that went around the inside where the, the, the head met the wood. And they have gotten super sophisticated since then. And without going on a tangent about tone rings, you can, you can take a look at this one. It helps immensely with the sound. And projecting of the sound. The major difference between um, open back banjos and resonators is sort of a style of playing more than anything. So we'll start out listening to the claw hammer banjo, you know, usually play it on open back and you can get a listen to hear how that sounds. So then the other style of banjo is the resonator banjo again, and much different sound, often used in bluegrass um, playing. And, and it's got a really, often you'll play with finger picks and a thumb pick, and it just gives you a really crisp, bright sound. Banjo is one of the categories we have here that we really like exploring the boutique you know, maker realm because there's these guys that are really passionate about what they do in making instruments. You've got the bigger makers, Deering, Gibson, you know, Gold Tone, and then there's other people who are in their garages or in their houses making these amazing instruments. Um, Enoch Banjos, Neckville, Ohm, Bart Ryder. They're just guys that are really passionate about what they do and you can tell in the instruments that they're building. <laughs> 